Hello, people cool here. Welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And I'm doing the Simpsons The Seven Beer Snitch. And in this, the Simpsons actually go to Shelbyville for some reason. I thought, they, I thought that every year resident of Springfield and Shelbyville hate each other. And Shelbyville seems to be a bit different. It's no longer a a city that's like a mere image of the Springfield or the people in it that find their cousins attractive. They're well adjusted and they don't really seem that sick unless they make fun of Springfield saying they're the ones who are hicks and actually doing as some hooting. And in order to get more uh, bulls or good say Clean up their image, marriage, is that they write to uh, architect Frank Gary. Um, the yes, he builds builds him a a concert hall. Uh, turns out nobody in Springfield likes uh, classical music, so to get the hall to uh, Bur Mr. Burns, uh, he turns into a prison and some. Of the residents of Springfield, a uh, trial for a job, and um, also as he switches his a uh, uh, sample of a uh, you know with a uh, Homer since he didn't think he got it all with his, and in order to get more uh, prisoners into a uh, well the prison, the uh, Wiggum decides to. Enforce some uh, crazy old laws, and that's he arrests Homer for kicking a uh, can five times. Yep. And then the B plot apparently is knows that uh, so well too. It's gotten a lot more heavy, and turned out the cat's been seeing a different family. Yeah, they're a nice family, but they're overfeeding the cat. And they call, call the some of Smokey. I don't know why. Could it be because the smell that, he, that the, the cat has from The Simpsons or what? And this is a good part where Bart just said, goes into the house to find out what's so good about the family. And it seems like the type of the mo or the mother seems like the type of mother just like gives uh, things or just gives sweets to animals or kids that she likes. And uh, that that the B plot only get that good of a conclusion. But hmm. and we eventually home becomes a rat in order to stay alive in a prison. He was their life longer if he didn't tell Marge he was the prison rat when they're uh, talking to each other and Marge was revealed that he was. And that was lead to a prison riot where the prisoner got to kill Homer. But thankfully the governor and the other people in the that started in prison used tear gas. And Homer just reveals that the prison isn't, isn't really that good, and the governor decides to instead of uh, put him in the uh, put the guys in overcrowded prisons, go put him in, in, in uh, on a garbage barge. Yeah, and Homer sneaks off to Moe's and throw a snowball down there as well, and then does a scene end credits scene where. Homer is that uh, taking the Tower of Inferno. It's gonna happen this warning people in the, the concert hall that some bad's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this is a good episode. I think the A plot is a bit better than the B plot. And the warden for Burns' prison is crazy. Then he killed his dad when he was a kid. I do have a nice voice, I say. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I wonder why Jeremy Tatum's in prison again. I thought would have. I thought he gave it a death to society after he was released in the episode where he fought Homer in a boxing match. I guess I can't keep it. I can't keep some people out of prison. I gotta tell you. And I kind of like the same with the Fat Tony's uh, guys to try to figure out who's the mo who's uh, the rat and the same other uh, uh, call names. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And, um, oh, oh. Else, uh, again, I don't know why they changed the show, though. I guess it's just to do, just to get to the, to the, uh, part of the story or something. I don't know, as far as I know, I think they changed it back, well, what it was back in season 6, but, hmm. Anyway, uh, in the next time, I'm Sue. See you guys.